As part of the Autodesk group, Dellcam products now have access to new library functionality. The first function to be integrated is the option to import DWG files using the Autodesk Real DWG in FeatureCam 2016. This implementation has resulted in a number of benefits, including a speed increase in the import of files over using Exchange, as well as the support of DWG solid model import. In this particular example, I've got a file to load. There's nothing to load from the image, so we're going to use this folder. I'm just going to select to open the folder here, and you can see that I've got a, a DWG file ready to load in. I'm going to simply drag and drop this into my FeatureCam interface. It asks me if I wish to import into this file. I'm going to say no. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import into a terminal a document, just purely because this is a terminal file. I'm going to say OK. And as soon as I import, I get this new option. So it's asking me which method I would like to use to import the file. So I've got two choices here. I can use the external exchange program, which was the, the default method. Uh, or I can use the new native uh, feature cam method using the real DWG library. In this case, we're going to test it first of all using the external exchange program. I'm going to say OK to this. And the first thing we'll notice is the, uh, the initial time delay, and this is purely because we're going to fire up exchange in the background and then start doing the file conversion process. So whenever we first uh, begin this process, we will get the uh, initial delay during the import. As well as this, what you'll also notice is once the file is imported, uh, as the data comes in, um, solid files are not supported. So what we will get is basically the solid file broken up into a number of surfaces. And this can cause an issue, especially in this kind of instance where we're trying to do uh, a terminal part and we want an overall revolve of the component. So in this case, I'm just going to select the, the model output, say OK. I'm not going to review the log. So there's my part. I'm just going to run through the sequence to create my stock material. So create the stock. Everything's fine there. I'm just going to position the z-axis on that front face. And then say finish. So the part has imported, but note uh, in this case uh, the component itself is actually uh, a series of surfaces. So you can see we've got many, many surfaces uh, imported here on the part. So if I was to go through the uh, import process and try and find the revolve of the stock, so I'm not going to find any uh, features, I'm just going to use the surface method and preview this. So what it does is it effectively takes a slice, but because uh, we've missed this flange here, we haven't got the full uh, revolution of the component uh, with the surfaces there. So to rectify this problem, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close the model off, and I'm going to rerun through that same process, so opening that folder, and this time using the real DWG. So import, I'm going to say no, again term mill. This time I'm going to use the new native Autodesk real DWG library, and say OK. Again, we're going to choose the model layout and import. So the first thing we'll notice is the speed of import. It's much, much quicker using the real DWG. Likewise, if I step through the uh, stages of the wizard, so again, I'm just going next, 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 just to get my uh, part set up. And again, choosing the front face of the component for my Z location. And we say finish. And again, I'm not going to do any general feature recognition, uh, but what I am going to do is use the, the solid method to uh, create my revolve preview and you can see that flange is also being found in this case and we've got a nice good solid profile. So I can say finish to that and very quickly I can start programming my part so I can accept that, start creating features so for example turning features we'll do a face, say finish, I'll do a turn from a curve again accepting that curve and say finish so I've now got some turn profiles. And likewise, we can also use this uh, because this is actually a solid. So note, we don't have surfaces. This is a true solid now. So I can actually go ahead and create some feature recognition features here. So I'm going to say turn mill. And we'll do a pocket. Extract with feature recognition. In this case, I'm going to go normal to that surface. Choose next. Automatic recognition. And we'll go ahead and select that pocket and say finish. So very, very quickly, I managed to establish the part, 
from a DWG component and we can start programming the part as we would like.